Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Question number 9, chapter 24, electric uh, potential. Figure shows four pairs of uh, charged particles with identical separations. Rank the pairs, this part A, rank the pairs according to their electric uh, potential energy, that is the energy of the two particle system, greatest, most positive first. Greatest, that is most positive first. Part B, for each pair, if the separation between the particles is uh, increased, uh, does the potential energy of the pair increase or decrease? Very simple, uh, we are given four situations. In each situation, we are, we are having two charged particles separated by some distance. Distance is same in all the four cases. And charged particles are mentioned, charge and sign is mentioned there. We have to rank them according to the to the uh, to the potential energy uh, greatest first, keeping uh, their sign under consideration. Okay, keeping their sign plus and minus is to be counted while ranking this. Uh, remember, potential energy is not a vector quantity, so plus and minus has nothing to do with the direction. Okay, so plus and minus here is greater than or less than. Potential energy for a pair of particles uh, we know is gamma Q1 Q2 divided by R. Gamma is the electrostatic constant. You can write 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 for that or whatever you uh, want to. So distance is same in all the four cases. Gamma is electrostatic constant. That is same for all the four cases. That is a universal constant. Q1 and Q2 are to be taken along with their signs. This is important. Q1 and Q2, when you substitute Q1 and Q2, they are to be substituted along with their signs, plus signs or minus signs, whatever that is. So let's write down potential energy of the four systems. First, let's write down potential energy of system 1. Gamma by R is same for all of them. Q1 into Q2, 6 into 2 is 12. 12 Q square plus minus is minus. So minus 12 times gamma Q square divided by R. This is the potential energy of uh, system 1. Okay, potential energy of system 1. Then uh, let's write down potential energy of uh, system 2. Potential energy of system 2. Uh, 4 into 3 is again 12. 12 Q squared plus minus is minus. So minus 12 Q squared again. So minus 12 gamma Q squared divided by R. R, remember, is same for all of them. Then let's write it down for uh, system 3. So U3 is equal to 12 into 1 is just 12 plus into plus is plus. So plus uh, 12 gamma Q squared divided by R. Then for system 4, U4 is again 6 into 2 is 12 minus minus is plus. So plus 12 gamma Q squared divided by R. Okay. Divided by R. Now, uh, we have to rank them keeping their signs under consideration, okay, keeping their signs under consideration. Plus 5 is greater than minus 5. Minus 5 is greater than minus 7. So, keeping their signs under consideration, okay, keeping their signs under consideration. Uh, negative and negative, so they must be uh, uh, on the lesser side, plus and plus, they must be on the higher side. So, you can see 3 and 4 are same. Uh, 1 and 2 are same, but they being negative will be on the lesser side. So, ranking will be uh, 3 equals 4, 3 equals 4 is greater than 1 equals 2, 1 equals 2, 3 gre equals 4 greater than 1 equals 2. These two are negative, these two are positive. Most positive first, most negative at the end, okay. Most positive is the greatest most negative is the least okay is the least so 3 equals 4 greater than 1 equals 2 now uh, part b for each pair if the separation between the particles is increased does the potential energy of the pair increase or decrease okay does the potential energy of the pair increase or decrease so there are two ways of uh, uh, doing it one is straight from these equations in case you increase the distance between them, denominator increases in all the four cases. Okay, denominator increases on all the four cases. If denominator increases in all the four cases, then this part, excluding the sign, this part decreases in all the four cases. Okay, this part decreases in all the four cases. 
if this part decreases all the four cases so this one becomes lesser negative okay this one becomes lesser negative say it was minus seven now it becomes minus five it becomes lesser negative this becomes lesser negative this becomes lesser positive this becomes lesser positive now becoming lesser negative means it is increasing and becomes lesser positive means it is decreasing okay so this one becomes lesser uh, negative so potential energy in case of one increases this one also becomes lesser negative so potential energy of two uh, again increases this one becomes lesser positive okay lesser positive so potential energy in case of three decreases okay so uh, suppose it was uh, say uh, plus 10 plus 10 now it becomes plus 7 so it decreases it decreases in this case it was minus 10 it becomes now minus 7 so it increases it becomes lesser negative so it increases this becomes lesser positive so it decreases so lesser positive it decreases lesser positive it decreases lesser negative so it increases lesser negative that means it increases so 1 and 2 increases 3 and 4 decreases 1 and 2 so part B 1 and 2 uh, increases becomes lesser negative so increases and 3 and 4 decreases decreases these two become lesser negative lesser negative and these two become lesser positive lesser positive so 1 and 2 increases 1 and 2 increases 3 and 4 decreases there is another way of uh, uh, doing it there is another way of doing it so okay now potential energy and work done potential energy and work done work done by external agency is equal to change in potential energy simple work done by external agency is equal to change in potential energy so if you are doing positive work in increasing the separation then potential energy uh, change in potential energy is positive that means potential energy increases and if you are doing negative work in increasing the distance between the particles that would mean change in potential energy is negative that means potential energy decreases so <coughs> so let's look at these uh, situations a force between the two particles is attractive so in order to increase the distance between them okay in order to increase the distance between them you need to apply a force in this direction your applied force must be this way okay now let's fix this one and only move this one we have to increase just increase the separation let's fix this one and let's move only this one so this one uh, force is to be moved uh, for force is to be applied rightward so if you are applying force rightward, rightward, displacement will also be rightward because you have to increase the distance. Uh, then force and displacement are in same direction, so work done will be positive. So in case one, in case one, work done is positive. That would mean change in potential energy is positive from this equation. That would mean potential energy increases okay potential energy increases this is another way of doing it if you look at situation 2 okay let's look at situation 2 let's fix this one and only move this one again positive and negative so this one will experience attractive force so your uh, uh, force your applied force must be this way this is your applied force and you have to increase the distance between them okay you have to increase the distance between them so you'll move it this way your direction of motion or direction of displacement and direction of force are in the same direction so force and displacement are in same direction so work done by you must be positive if you are doing positive work then change in potential energy is also positive if change in potential energy is also positive then potential energy increases so it is the same thing it's the same thing work done is positive change in potential energy is positive so potential energy increases let's go for uh, three okay let's go for three let's fix this one and move only this one now these two are uh, uh, light charges so there will be a repulsive force between them electric force between them is uh, repulsive so when you move it you'll have to apply force this way this must be your applied force but displacement is this way so your force is in opposite direction so if displacement and force are in opposite direction work done will be negative if work done is negative okay if work done is negative this is for three if work done by your force by you is negative that would mean change in potential energy is negative and that would mean potential energy decreases 
potential energy decreases. Same goes for situation uh, uh, 4. Let's fix this one. They are both, are both of them are negative. So repulsive forces between them. This is electric force. Your force must be this way. In order to increase the separation between them, this particle has to move this way. This is the direction of displacement. Direction of displacement. So particle is moving rightward, but your force is leftward. So opposite direction. So work done is negative. Change in potential energy is negative. So potential energy decreases. Potential energy decreases. Situation 4 is the same thing as situation 3. So in case of 1 and 2, potential energy increases. And in case of 3 and 4, potential energy decreases. Is that fine? That will do for this session.